What's up, everyone? Today I've got a mess to deal with. I'm finishing my basement, and so I've got all sorts of Ethernet cables that I've brought in from various places in the basement. Dropped them here. So as you can see, kind of a mess. Uh, we've got all sorts of fun stuff going on over here that we need to clean up. We've got a new patch panel that we're going to put in that is keystone jacks so that we can move these things all over the place. As you can see here, we've got some of the old ones, and I've been clipping them off one by one. So let's go ahead and finish this up, tidy it up, and put it all back together. All right, we've got all the pre-existing wires cut out of the uh, patch panel here. Let's go ahead and remove it, and we will slide in the new one. The reason that I wanted to switch from this older, it's not even old, it's only a couple years, but the reason I wanted to switch from this patch panel to a keystone jack patch panel was serviceability and also the ability to actually put these wires where I wanted them. Once you slot them into these slots in this uh, old style, which I'll show you here in a second once I pull it off, they're kind of stuck. Um, you can rewire them, it's a pain in the butt but they're not easy to move. And so the benefit of having the keystone patch panel is that I can move any of the ethernet cables to any of the slots that I want. And this is super important for being able to actually have wires reach each other, especially these short um, patch cables here. Um, for instance, originally I had my ISP coming into slot number one over here, but it needed to travel all the way to the other side of the uh, UDM Pro here so I had this really long, weird ethernet cable that didn't match any of these because these are all, I think these are six inches. Um, this one had to be, you know, a couple of feet to reach. I just didn't like how it looked. Also with the switch up here, the first, I think it's 16 uh, slots are power over ethernet. So this is gonna power your cameras, your access points, things of that nature. And so you wanna be able for them to reach as well. And so if you had one in number two, reaching it all the way over was kind of a pain. So Really, it's going to clean all of this up, and if I ever need to swap any of those out or reorder, it's going to make it really easy to do. So, pulling this off, you can see here that this style, they're just, they're kind of in there, oops. And so, there's no way that I can, you know, move, you know, this cable right here over onto this one and vice versa. So the new style looks exactly the same on the front as it did the back, or as the old one, excuse me, but on the uh, back, obviously it's got these keystone jacks, slots we can put them in. And so if I've got an extra one here. The thought is that you would just take one of these, you'd slot it right in. Doing this backwards upside down, sorry. But the thought is that you just snap it right into place there and uh, fill out your whole patch panel. So let's go put the new one in place real quick. I completely missed the hole when I first brought these in. Um, all of these cables just kind of flew over the top of this and plugged right in to the back of these. Missed all of this stuff. And so now I can properly cable manage everything by pulling it through the hole here, pulling it up, tying them off on these um, straps here which are meant for, uh, what are they called? They allow it to not have tension on the line because you're going to relieve that by bracing it and connecting it usually with a small zip tie onto these so that you don't have the cable when it's plugged in here being yanked and pulled by the rest of the cable that's maybe falling beneath this. So it's going to release that tension by holding it there for you so that as you plug and unplug stuff, it's gonna be really uh, nice and secure there. Uh, but yeah, this should really clean everything up once I'm complete here. Once I've identified what needs to go where, I do still have eight ports or ethernet cables back here that are for the basement that I need to terminate with keystones, all of those. Once I do, a little bit of planning on paper and then we'll put them all in where they need to go and plug them into the switch and we should be good to go. The whole house will be wired with ethernet every single room. Now, if you haven't seen this done before or are curious how it works, make sure to check out my other video where I do go into depth about how to actually punch down an ethernet cable. 
Uh, but, you know, you can watch the little bit here that I'm going to provide details on because these keystones are a little different than the uh, punch down panel I did initially. Basically going to strip back your wire there. You're gonna cut off the little fluff, grandma's hair. That's going to allow you to pull the ethernet cable apart if desired. We don't need it, so we're gonna cut it off. You're not gonna untwist your wires. Get yourself a keystone. This neat little holder here makes it way easier to deal with. You're gonna take your wires. You're going to segment them off based on the standard that you're using. There's an A standard and a B standard. Two different ways to wire it. The uh, cable must be wired the same on both ends. It doesn't matter necessarily which standard you choose. It just has to be the same on both ends of the wire. I, and most of the industry, seems to use standard B, which is what I'm doing here. You don't have to remember the cables here because it is printed. <clears throat> right, I don't know if you can see this. Right on the inside there, you've got A and B, and it shows you where the cables are supposed to go, the different colors. So let me just slot it in here. Put your cables where they're supposed to go. Pull off the excess wires. Punch down tool should have a little blade on the end that cuts them off. They typically don't get off all the way. Pull it out of your little holder here. Slap the covers on, and you're done. everything patched into our board here with those keystone jacks. The whole house is wired for ethernet and now at this point it's just going to be a little bit of reconfiguring with the switch to put things where I want them and fill in these last couple of spots with these little patch panel uh, cables. Should be good to go. Thanks for watching. This was fun. I hope you enjoyed. If you like what you see make sure to subscribe to me. See you next time.